Okay, hi, I'm Julie Riskin. I'm the director of the Colorado Cross Disability Coalition, CCDC, a statewide disability rights organization. I'm demonstrating my new Superman Cripple Charger. Is that what it's called? Cripple Concepts Cripple USB Con Charger. Cripple Concepts USB Charger. It's Saturday. I've been doing a training most of the day, and my iPhone is down to 38%, which is not going to get me through the rest of the day. So, plug it in here. Stick it in here, and now it's charging. Simple as that. I also have my iPad. If that gets low, I just get a slightly different charger, uh, a different cord. I have another one that's a little bit different from my Surface. I'm a little bit of a technology junkie. And I just take this out, plug this in, and charge the iPad, same thing. I haven't used my iPad much today, so it's not dead yet, but. Not dead yet. Not dead yet, right. <laughs> so this is a very cool thing. Um, I've been unable to live without it since I got my first one a long time ago. I recommend that everyone have at least two in case you're a klutz like me and you break stuff easily. I'm gonna try an angle where you can see the numbers, but I don't know that I can. Yeah, there's numbers right here. It says, I think it says 552. I have no idea what that means. 25.2, that's how many volts are in the chair. Okay. Yeah, it's upside down at that angle, but. Oh, 20, okay. And, so I guess that means that it's working. Julie also has one of our side bags on the side of her chair. I do. And, and of course one of the shiny knobs over on her joystick. So yep. she's all decked out. Yep. Julie's been the test tester of most of the uh, the USB variations for the last couple of years, and that's she has right. the one and only Surface charger. So, um, yeah, so that's that's the USB charger in action. Yep. So the cool thing too is that um, apparently some of the wheelchair companies make some make one make a charger that you can buy from them for more money than Josh's costs. But on those, you can't drive the chair while it's plugged in. On this, you can drive. You can do whatever you want with your chair. Um, I can still tilt if I want to tilt. It doesn't affect it at all, and it's still charging as I'm tilting or driving. I don't know why anyone thought you wouldn't need to drive your chair while you're charging it. That kind of kills the point. If you're going to sit in one place, you can just go to a wall. So this is why we need to support products that are made by and for people with disabilities. Thanks, Julie.